Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to create this type of filter with the day of the week, timestamp right below and also we'll add a color to the filter. So let's go ahead and start it. We'll go ahead and create new project and blank project. And of course let's resize our screen to make it bigger. Here you go. Also what I would recommend in the top left corner you'll see the mode button. I would switch from edit 3D to edit 2D. It will be easier for us to work um, with this kind of view. Great, so now in the left hand side we'll see add object button and here we're looking for 2D text and insert. Great, now we have first text for the day of the week. We can move it anywhere we want, to the middle, to the top. I will leave it on the top and also you can drag it to the left, to the right. On the right hand side, you can change the size of your font right here. Let's do it 50. And also you can change color, for example. You can do any desired color. I'll leave it as pink. And right here on the text, you can change whatever you want to change it to but as i said we will go ahead with creating um, day of the week in this tutorial so we'll click on the dynamic text we'll click insert and we'll choose day of the week and it will go ahead and preload the day of the week so today is thursday when i record this video you can see and you can resize the screen also I would recommend to write all the days in desired font size and see if it actually fits because if Monday would fit perfectly fine but if you will go with um, Thursday for example or something else it may not fit or just to make the font size smaller and that's it so now click on the 2d text in the left hand side and we'll duplicate our layer. So now we have two texts on the left hand side. That means one is on top of the other one right here. This way we can use our second text to create our timestamp. And our next step will be to add our timestamp. So we'll go to the section say Monday in the text and we'll delete that word and we'll click on insert on the dynamic text and now we're looking for time short great now we have our time and we can change the size let's say to 20 and it will look this way and let's go back to the first layer and delete the text here insert day of the week and now we have current day of the weekend time. So the next step will be to change our font. So what I'm doing, I'm just looking for the free font. Here's the website where I'm looking for Q font. And the way I found it, I just simply search for cute font. And that was the first link I found. So I just look through all of them and choose the one I like and click download. And it will go to download downloads on your computer and you can just add it to their spark here and here you can click on add assets and import from computer and you're looking for the downloaded font you need to download ttf files so right here add and it will appear under assets as your font so let's go back to the font in the top left corner step on to the text and right here on the font we are looking for the font we have you also can choose any of the font which uh, spark your studio has already but as i said it's kind of boring so we're looking for something more interesting and here you go this is my font i have the same we do for our timestamp we go to the font section in the right hand side and scroll into the button looking for our font size great and that's it we are done and to make our filter more interesting we'll add some shade to it some color 
So on the focal distance, we add canvas. And on the canvas, on the left hand side, we're going to click add and add rectangle. On the right hand side, on the width, we're going to choose fill width. And on the height, we're going to choose fill height. Great. Now we're going to click on material, rename our material to color. And on the right hand side, you'll see color. Click on it and choose desired color. We'll go with the pink in this tutorial. And in the right lower corner, you will see opacity. And you can change opacity to the percentage you want. I will leave it under 30%. And yeah, that's it. Your filter is ready. You can go ahead and upload it. Hopefully this video was useful for you and you'll be able to create your own Instagram filter with your day, time and color on it. And for now, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.